what is happening people so as you can see behind me we are at the beach this week and we're gonna do some surf fishing so I'm really excited about that I hadn't done any surf fishing in quite some time so before we go this afternoon let's go over some basic stuff if you come surf fishing that you will need or might want to pick up before you come so let's go over a few of these things so this is your basic bottom rig sometimes I'll make my own up I like to not do that so this if you have your 3 8 you have a 3 ounce weight on the bottom it's connected there depending on how swift the water is how much weight you use I have threes fours and twos these are just number four stainless steel hooks I have some in six uh, hopefully we may be catching some pompanos, some spots, drum. So that's your basic rig that you would use to cast out into the surf. Another rig that you may use is called a fish finder rig. And I'm going to show you a little trick to this. Some of you guys are old salts, you may already know this. But this slides up and down the line. And your weight is attached to it, so that will rest on the bottom while this leading edge will float around. Now attached is your basic stainless steel swivel and on the end is a treble hook. So this is what I would fish a whole mullet with. And how I thread this onto the mullet and I'll show that to you in a little while. So I made me a couple of these. These are just a coat hanger, uh, just a coat hanger wire Twist it on the end. You take the hook off, attach that to the swivel, and I'm gonna pretend my finger is the mullet. You stick it in the mullet's mouth, through his body, and come out next to his tail. And you pull this wire leader all the way through the mullet till this swivel is sticking out the rear. You attach the treble hook. This is a great rig for if if for catching bluefish. And always you have an odd hook on your treble hook. So you would turn the odd side hook up, hook that into the tail, and these two hooks would stick out next to the rear fin. A lot of these fish in the coast bite from the rear end, and this will ensure you catch more fish this way. All right, guys. All right. Here's how. This fish finder rig will work. Put this in his mouth, through his body, out of his tail. Put out here. Work that swivel back in, pale that hook right there, and boom, there it is. So I would cast this out, and I would wind it up to the slack, and this would kind of float around in the surf uh, until the fish comes by and it bites it. So basic fish finder rig. Now, if I'm drum fishing, I may want to switch this out and put a circle hook on it, and we're going to do some of that too. I'll show you one of those. So that's one basic rig. That's, so that's two basic rigs. And also I'm gonna cast for some trout or drum in the surf. That is basically a 3 8 ounce head. You may wanna pick some of these up. Also in the surf for bluefish or Spanish mackerel, you may wanna pick up some sort of casting spoon that you can, that's fairly heavy, that you can cast some distance if you have a school of fish that's moving by. And my bait of choice is go up live. This is the white swimming minnow. And I also have some, uh, some just new penny shrimp. Both are excellent fishing in the surf. 
And we're going to go down and we're going to catch some fresh mullet here and keep them on ice and we're going to use those for bait. I have these for bait from just casting. You also need a good pair of pliers. All these fish on the beach have teeth and a good fillet knife. And of course your surf rod and a good casting rod. So those are just some basic things that you need that will get you fishing in the surf. Hey, let's go fishing. Bad, there. Got a few. Got a few, got a few. That's what we're looking for right there, folks. Oh, what we got here? We got a old pinfish. I always count an old pinfish. We got here. Fighting like a pompano, don't know quite what it is yet. Let's see. It is a big old pinfish. And he bit the shrimp. We don't need perfect drum. Oh, he swallowed that. I believe that's a ladyfish. Bluefish. Look at all the teeth. Yep, all the fish in the ocean have lots of teeth. You don't yeah. stick your finger there. That's yeah. why you want your pliers. You see his gills? His gills are right here. That's where he breathes. Those are like his lungs. It's not blood. It's not blood. But it looks like it, doesn't it? That's where he breathes. It's from those. <laughs> fish
Um bom peixe. Peixão. I like a little, little small blue. I think this is a, like the second or third one I've caught. Okay. Yeah. Good time for it. Yeah, right close to dark. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's let old bluefish go back. <laughs> 